So your teacher has invited you for your first session in Pencil Spaces. Whether you're learning in person or online, Pencil Spaces is a wonderful tool for you to have a more interactive and fun lesson. This video is meant to help you get started and show you some of the basic tools. When you receive an invite, you're most likely to receive a link that looks something like this, starting with my.pencilapp.com spaces, or you'll receive an email invite that looks like this. So in this case, I can click the link to join, and then that will open up the login page. So if it's your first time signing in, you can log in with your Google account, email, or any of the options below. I'm going to continue with my Google account and select the account that I'd prefer to log in with. In most cases, this will be your school email or your parents' email or whatever works best for you. Now, as you can see, I've automatically joined my teacher's class. So this class is called a space. It has an infinite whiteboard canvas with a video call built in. So if you're going to be using pencil spaces in person, you most likely won't need to start a video call. But if you're using pencil spaces online, like you would in a Zoom call or a different platform, your teacher will need to start the call before you um, in order for you to join. If you look at the indicator at the top right corner, you could see that my teacher and I are both in the space right now. You could also see my teacher's cursor on the whiteboard. So once the teacher starts the call, I'll receive an invite that looks like this and I'll be able to join. This is the page where I can adjust any of my audio and video settings and where I can test my microphone or my speakers. Once everything is set up, just click done and click join call. Now that I've joined the video call, let's go through some of the basic features. To start off, your video is on the right hand side by default. However, you have the option to resize it by clicking and dragging on the bottom left corner. All of your video tools are right below your video where you can mute and unmute, access your video, start a screen share, or access cool things like reactions. If you want to make the videos bigger and you want to maximize a screen share, just click the maximize button and you'll go into a gallery view like this. If your teacher is screen sharing and you want to make the screen share expanded, you could hover over the screen share and click pin, or you can go into a full screen view as well. To exit the maximized view, just click the button at the bottom left corner of your screen. Now let's go over some of the whiteboard tools. At the bottom, I have the option to select objects on the whiteboard, and that reveals a toolbar that allows me to add comments, move the object around, or change layers. In order to move around the whiteboard, just click the pan button at the bottom and click and drag to navigate around the board. Keep in mind that if your teacher has leader mode turned on, meaning that there's a border around the whiteboard, you'll be forced to follow the teacher around the board. In this view, you don't have the option to pan, you can only edit the board, and you won't be able to zoom in and out or switch video views. So now that my teacher has turned off leader mode, I can move around the board freely, navigate video views, and even change boards. To zoom in and out of the whiteboard, you could either use the navigation tools on the bottom right corner by clicking the navigator and clicking plus to zoom in and minus to zoom out. If you ever get lost, just click back to center. You can use the pen tool to draw, the highlighter to highlight objects, the eraser to remove objects, and you can also access the text tool, sticky notes, shapes, the formula editor, and you could also upload files like images, videos, or PDF documents. Everything on the whiteboard gets saved automatically, so you'll be able to revisit your space at any time to review notes or do some homework while your teacher isn't there.
Within a space, not only do you have an infinite whiteboard canvas, but your teacher can create multiple whiteboards within your classroom. So I'm going to switch into fractions, and now you can see that there's a different whiteboard with different content on it. As a student, you will not have the option to create boards on your own unless your teacher has given you the option to do so. Next, let's explore the app library. By default, as a student, you won't be able to open a lot of the apps on your own unless your teacher has enabled that for you. However, you do have the option to access comments, the resource library for any math or physics manipulatives, and some of the tools that are only visible to you, like the periodic table, calculator, or graphing calculator. If your teacher opens up any of the other apps, you'll be able to collaborate on them together just as you would in this web viewer. So as you can see, even though my teacher has placed this web viewer on the whiteboard with Desmos on it, I can still interact with the page unless the teacher has locked it and disabled editing permissions. If you ever want to message your teacher or your class in the chat, just click the chat button, click chat, and send a message. The chat will always get saved between sessions, just like the whiteboard does. If you ever run into issues during your class, you could always ask your teacher to click help and send a message to get any questions answered. To leave the video call, just click the red phone button and click leave the call. Now you'll still be in the whiteboard, but you won't be in the video call. To leave the classroom, click the pencil button at the top left corner and click leave space. This is the Pencil Spaces homepage. This is where all of your previous classes are stored and where you can join in to revisit any of them. If I want to revisit my Tuesday math lesson, I can click enter space and I'll be able to review all of the notes that have been left there previously. You can also complete homework here or work on practice questions if your teacher has given you the option to edit. However, if editing is restricted, you'll see that the bottom toolbar is grayed out. Thank you for watching today's tutorial showing you how to join a Pencil Spaces session for the first time. If you have any questions, feel free to message our 24-7 chat support by clicking the help button at the top right corner and sending us a message.